Once upon a time, there were three best friends. Hi, I'm Ma. Ki. San. They were the first three boxes to be produced and had many other Hello. friends. Hello. Welcome. Annyeong. Ma bu ai. Ho ho ho. Okay, this one done. Delivery for Moki Son! After many trips together, they arrived at a snug storeroom in Singapore. Meza Yala! We're here! We're home! Happy to finally be somewhere they could call home, they were shocked when a few boxes were taken out. What's going on? Where are they? That night, while they were sleeping, Ma heard footsteps. Guys, wake up! Oh look guys, there's a home! Wait, is that Omar the founder? Boss, we need to do something about our disposable packaging. It's not environmentally friendly. That's true. We can do so by using the three steps of our life cycle analysis. Assessing environmental impacts of our inputs, evaluating design options for packaging, identifying strategic solutions. In Singapore, the annual average consumption of paper is 151 kg of paper per capita, while the world average is 54 kg. In the USA, the pulp and paper industry is the third largest industrial consumer of energy. It leads to the emissions of greenhouse gases and sulfur dioxide into the air. Large volumes of water is also consumed at thousands of liters per ton of paper. This process of bleaching water is chemically intensive and releases chemicals into water bodies, causing water and air pollution. The world consumption of paper has increased by 400% in the last 40 years, where the average consumer now uses 300 million tons of paper each year. At Maki San, we use 6 to 700 boxes per day, which adds up to 237,000 per year. To bring in a few perspectives on this issue, we have Omar the owner, Customer 1, and Customer 2. Customer 1 is attracted to Maki San because of its cute boxes. Customer 2, however, finds that the use of such disposable packaging is an absolute waste and frowns upon such behavior. Coming from Omar, 80% of Maki San's customers are females and usually patronize Maki San for their pretty boxes. This has become Maki-san's identity and unique selling point. Also, even though Oma would like to use greener packaging, it will result in higher costs that Maki-san cannot afford. As such, this beats the struggle between Maki-san's identity and sustainability. Eager to propose our solutions, we set up a meeting with Mr. Omar Mark. Mr. Marks told us all about how Maki-san came about and the interactive experience of eating at Maki-san. He also told us about how he has requested that supplies use thinner material for plastic bags and order sheets. As of now, they serve salads without lids and also are receptive to green initiated. This demonstrates first age ecological marketing as it shows them making improvements to operations to reduce wastage and attempting to provide a remedy for environmental problems caused by them. The most exciting part of our discussion was when we came up with an implementable green initiative together. For every dine-in customer that were to say no to a sleeve, Maki-san would donate 10 cents to a local green charity. Because reducing their meals by 10 cents is usually negligible, Oma's making of such donations will be more meaningful. This brings Maki-san a step closer towards a corporate citizenship. Before our meeting ended, we agreed that Mr. Marks would come out with the publicity for this campaign while we would help look for a suitable green charity. We asked around and hoped for the best. Imagine our delight when Everlife co-founder Mark Chang agreed to the collaboration. Thanks for your exciting email. We are keen to be involved as your appointed green charity. We are now in the midst of fleshing out the campaign and moving a step closer to reducing the number of boxes used. With the help of Tae-san, we also came up with other solutions to green Maki-san's disposable packaging. Reusable lunchbox versions of the takeaway boxes should be sold so customers can take them back to reuse. Maki-san can also provide reusable plates for dining customers. To retain the USP, they should print the unique box designs on the plates instead. We can do away with the order sheets, which are a waste of paper. Instead, bowls with coloured sticks for each ingredient can be set up and customers can choose the ingredients by collecting different coloured sticks. We explored alternative designs for their boxes, such as a box that can accommodate two portions of sushi. Instead of using plastic bags, using chopsticks can serve as handles for the boxes, while using a flat closure can save on the number of trays used. Also, by lining the boxes with a removable plastic sheet, food stains can be peeled and disposed of, allowing the uncontaminated box leaves to be recycled. However, there are several limitations to our solutions. Additional operational costs associated with equipment, washing errors and labour to wash plates will contribute to higher costs. Furthermore, recycling boxes will require the hiring of a recycling company to come down and collect the trays every day, incurring yet higher costs. Hey, you wanna go to Maki-san? I love their boxes! Oh, but they don't have their boxes anymore. Nah, meh. Let's go somewhere else. 
The box prints are an embodiment of their identity and also serves as publicity. The peel off plastic strips to prevent contamination of the boxes risk being counterproductive as cheap PVC is toxic and non-biodegradable. Because the current boxes will come in contact with the food, it is also difficult to consider alternative materials as laminated food grade material will have to be retained. Finally, the time and effort required to push for green initiatives is a major hurdle, especially since Omar is busy considering expansion and handling higher volumes. Despite these limitations, Makisan is moving along on the way forward towards the second age of environmental marketing. With improved sales following the implementation of green initiatives, hopefully they would be convinced that the interest of the company does not conflict with environmental effort, but instead can go hand in hand with profit.